So your Seagate drive has just broken off the end bit here and is now stuck on the cable. So you're wondering, what the heck do I do? How do I fix this? I got an option for you. So this is what you're probably dealing with right now. You've got this piece here. As you can see, that is missing because it's stuck on, stuck on right there. That's, that's the piece. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to take this thing off. So if you get yourself like a guitar pick or something that you can slide in under here to pry this thing up, then you should be able to get this thing open and start working on it. So once you've got this thing open, you'll likely have some like glue along the edges that you'll slowly pry the thing on up. And at that point, you now have access to the drive here. So the next step is you have to get this thing out of the little plastic encasement here. So basically what you want to do to get this thing out is same idea. You want to pry that thing out. Uh, you can apply some pressure to the back of this while pulling back on here to then give some leverage to throw something in there and, and pull it out. So once you have it out of the case, you then will want to remove this foil here uh, because then that'll give you access to this adapter that's underneath and that connects to the whole drive here, which we'll be able to, to switch that out. Just a forewarning, the warranty, if you have a warranty on this, then it will be void if you remove this. So you wanna be sure that either your warranty is done and, or if you just don't wanna send this thing in and you wanna fix this yourself, then just be aware that that's, this is what it's coming at a cost of. Once you've lifted up the, the foil here, you'll notice that there's this plastic casing that's also covering it. So you'll have to either cut through that or, or peel that up. So just be careful. So right now what we're seeing is we've got our adapter piece here at the top. That's plugging into the drive here. So we're, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna take this piece off and then once that's all done and good to go, we're then going to stick it into this enclosure that I'm gonna show you here. So what I've done here is I've cut along this edge here to allow me to get access to this board. So I've just cut along this plastic bit here and then now this is raised up. So I should be able to pull this thing off here. Got this bit here. So that's gonna be as you can see, it, this plugs in to the main unit here. And so what we're gonna wanna do is you'll wiggle this, wiggle it back and forth, just kind of prying pressure on this side and this side, just kind of slowly try and pull this thing out. And it should just come off like that. So that's what we're looking at. And this is the main thing we're gonna be dealing with to get everything running again. Whereas this, we no longer need this. So once we have this section accessible, now we're gonna to wanna to go on to the enclosure. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the 2.5 inch hard drive enclosure. Uh, you can get any, any kind of these ones. Um, as long as it matches up and everything like that, you're good to go. Um, I got this one off Amazon for like 20 something bucks. And uh, what it's gonna allow us to do is we're gonna connect the drive into here and then that'll allow us to use the USB out into our computer to get our files back. Um, I got this one off Amazon for like 20 something bucks. Got a link in the description if you wanna pick that up. I do get a slight commission. If you wanna do that, sweet. If not, that's cool. I'm not offended. <laughs> okay, so we got, got the enclosure piece here. Got some instructions, other stuff. And the cable that we're gonna need. So that's all good to go. So let's get started. the plastic casing off this this thing slides off so we'll slide this thing off which then allows us to get access to this port so I'm gonna put this thing down here you can probably clean this up later but you know we'll, we'll give this a go what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want these top facing down going in on those guys. Okay, so we now have that plugged in. So we're gonna see if this works. You then slide this bit on top, and that closes up. You got a new case, boom. So now here's our plug-in port. We grab our plug-in here.
So now put in the new plugin. We now have our hard drive here, all plugged in, ready to go. Let's see if this works. Well, look at that. There it is. We now have all of the files. We thought were lost. We thought were gone. We thought it was game over, but now we got them. Got them all at, all ready to go. So we can now transfer those over and there you are. A good thing to note is Seagate drives have this adapter bit, other ones don't. This is one of my reasons I'm gonna continue purchasing Seagate ones so that if this does happen, I have a backup plan. And that's basically it. You now have your hard drive is now up and running again. You should be able to get all your files transferred over and uh, not have any more issues. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and uh, yeah, subscribe if you're interested in nature, drone videos, and sometimes fixing things when they break. Thanks for watching. We can now plug this in, plug this guy in there.